I only had a couple more films to watch before I'd seen every performance that was nominated for an Academy Award this year. I went to go watch Richard Jewell today because I wanted to see if Kathy Bates was worthy of the Best Supporting Actress nom. Short answer, she definitely was, but yeah, that's why I'm reviewing Richard Jewell for you guys. Let's talk about it. Hey up guys! So today's film that I'm going to be reviewing is the latest film from director Clint Eastwood. It is Richard Jewell, which is a dramatic biopic about a mild-mannered security guard called Richard Jewell, who's playing this film by Paul Walter Hauser, who was working at the 1996 Atlanta, Georgia Olympics celebrations in Centennial Park when he discovered a pipe bomb had been placed under a bench. And because Jewell spotted the bomb, he managed to clear the area to some degree. However, the bomb still went off killing two people and injuring hundreds, but he did definitely save some lives because he took action. At first, he was branded as a hero, but it wasn't long until the FBI and the media started shaping the narrative into making the public think that Richard Jewell was actually the one responsible for the explosion in the first place. Richard Jewell became demonized and vilified by the media for an act of heroism. That's messed up. I really enjoyed how Clint Eastwood told the story. The thing that I love most about this film is definitely Paul Walter Hauser as Richard Jewell. He does a great job of portraying this very nice, respectful, affable, mild-mannered security guard. He does a great job of layering him with so many lovely nuances. He does a really good job here. Kathy Bates as well. The reason I wanted to go watch this is because of her Best Supporting Actress nomination. Wanted to see what all the fuss was about, and yeah, She's fantastic here as well. She plays Richard's mother, Bobby. And when the media frenzy starts gathering around the house and starts harassing Richard, she also gets caught in the crossfires and you can see what it's doing to her, how much anguish it's causing her. And yeah, Kathy Bates, amazing here as well. Sam Rockwell is as reliable as ever. He plays Richard's lawyer, Watson Bryant. And the thing about their relationship is that it really gives the film a lovely bromance that blossoms throughout. But where the film falters is in the portrayal of the antagonist of the film, mainly Olivia Wilde's investigative journalist, um, Caddy Scruggs. She's the one that was responsible for railroading Richard Jewell as the villain. She was the one that published the story in the local paper about um, him being the prime suspect of the explosion. It's how it sort of snowballed on Richard and she kind of like ruined his life for a while. The problem with her performance is like the moment she comes on screen, she's this just abrasive, annoying, just obnoxious, cackly lady. She's just she's just horrible. You're instantly programmed to think she's horrible, but she doesn't feel like a real person. She feels like a pantomime villain. And then you've got John Hamm as well, who plays one of the FBI investigators. It just didn't feel convincing. It's just a shame when you've got great performances from Paul Walter Hauser, Kathy Bates, and Sam Rockwell, that these two very jarring, clunky, cartoony performances from John Hamm and Olivia Wilde. It kind of takes you out of the film a little bit. It makes it feel less sincere. I really enjoyed Clint Eastwood's direction. It's very neat and tidy. There was a lot of tension in the scene where the bomb goes off and the scenes where Richard and his mother are surrounded by news reporters and photographers. It gives you that feeling that they're being devoured by vultures. It's done very well. So let's ask those three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? Yes, I would definitely revisit this film at some point, mainly for the performances of Paul Walter Hauser, Kathy Bates, and Sam Rockwell. They're all fantastic. And it's also a very gripping and well-executed biopic. Secondly, would I recommend it for you guys? I'm going to say yes. It's flown under the radar of a lot of people this year, but I'd say it's definitely worth checking out. And question number three, what score am I going to give it out of 10? It's a very serviceable and entertaining biopic, and it does feel quite timely. Like, you only have to go on Twitter once a week to see someone being railroaded and targeted on social media as a pariah, receiving so much hate. That's kind of like what this film is, just said in the 90s, before the birth of social media. The message does feel quite relevant to today's audience, and it's, for the most, well acted. Just the antagonists of this film are presented in a kind of over-the-top way, which I didn't like a whole lot and kind of took me out of the film. So I'm gonna give Richard Jewell a score of seven out of 10. There we go, guys, that was my review of Richard Jewell. But as always, this is just one bloke's opinion. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you guys seen Richard Jewell? What did you think of it? Who do you think gave the best performance in it? On Team Kathy Bates, Sam Rockwell, maybe Paul Walter Hauser? Whatever you think, be sure to let me know in that comment section down below. You guys enjoy my stuff and want to keep up to date with it, you can follow me on social media in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to click subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time.